Hello there guys and welcome to our 20th C++ tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to continue with our boolean values and we're going to actually incorporate the while loop in this tutorial as well. And what we will do is let's go um, like um, basically just like in the voting's uh, basically system. Well, I s we're going to check if you, if a person is 18 years old or, or if they're younger than 18. We're going to display certain messages and that's it. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and open our main.cpp and if you don't have it, pause the video and go ahead and prepare and then resume the video. Alright, so like always, we're gonna go ahead and type our code and go over it. Alright. First, let's go ahead and display an, an integer variable and we're gonna call it uh, user age. Yes, user age. And then we're gonna declare our boolean value, call it b. Let's set our boolean value our, our b here to equal true. Alright. Next, let's go ahead and open our while loop here and put b. So while is true, let's go ahead here and see out and ask the user how old they are. How old are you? And then put a question mark there. And let's get that input and Store in the user's age. And let's, re let's do an if statement here. If user age is greater than or equal to 18, what we want to do is we want to display a message for them. Let's say, see how yes, you qualify. And let's put Line. I actually want to put two end lines just to make it look a little better. And then we're going to set our B value here to true. And then let's go ahead and put an else. We're going to put an else if statement here. So let's go and open our brackets and close brackets and put an if statement here. So if user age is less than 18. Then what we want to do is tell them they're not qualified. So let's display another message and tell them, "Sorry, you do not qualify." Let's put uh, let's put two in line just to make it look. And here we're gonna set our boolean value to false. All right. Now let's go ahead from the beginning up here declared our an integer variable the user's age to hold the user's age we, dis we declared our, vo our boolean value here b and we said that in uh, we initialize it to be to true basically to true standing for one and here while we all we started our while loop here while true which is this is true here we're going to ask the user how old they are we're going to get that input stored in user's age we're going to check here the user is older than 18 then we're going to display this message basically and then we're going to go back up here and this is true again so we're going to ask for the age again let's say the user is younger than 18 he enters 16 it will check this if statement here then it will go to the next if statement down here to the else if statement this is going to match it's going to display this message it's going to set b to false, it's going to return to the while loop, it's going to see that this is false, so, and then it's going to go down here, it's going to pause, and then it's going to terminate the program. Alright, so let's go ahead and build our program and see if that actually does work. Let's see down here, was it built successfully? And, uh, yes it was, so let's go ahead and run it. Alright, so it's asking me how old I am. Let me type 18, I should be old enough. It says, yes, you're qualified. And it's asking me again how old I am. Okay, 75. Yes, you're qualified. Okay, let me put 17. It says, sorry, you do not qualify. Alright, guys, so that was another simple tutorial incorporating the boolean values and basically a while loop. So hopefully you like this tutorial, and if you have any tutorials in particular in your mind that you want me to go over or do a tutorial about it, about something just shoot me a message or leave a comment and i'll be more than glad to do so 
and please check out all my other videos and there's a java series uh, of tutorials as well and there's gonna be uh, new ones coming up uh, and that that's for, that's for GUI programming basically it will look a, it looks a little bit better than C++ but I actually do prefer C++ but anyways so please subscribe to my channel guys and thanks again for watching and please don't forget to subscribe thank you